Hey guys, this is your Madam Wash and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing how to draw Lewis structures as well as to determine most possible of the Lewis structures together with explanation. Here, you are required to draw all possible Lewis structure of NCO minus, determine the most possible structure, and explain your answer. The first step to determine Lewis structure would be to total up the valence electron of all atoms present in the molecule. So that would be nitrogen has a valence electron of 5, carbon has got a valence electron of 4, while oxygen has got a valence electron of 6. This would sum up to 15 electrons. Since NCO has got a negative charge, therefore, you must add one electron corresponding to the negative one charge, giving a total of 60 electrons to draw the Lewis structure. The second step would be to determine the central atom. You must remember that the central atom is the least electronegative atom. So in this case, that would be carbon. Thus, Place your oxygen and nitrogen surrounding the carbon. Connect them with a single bond. That would be the minimum bond that is present between the atoms. So since two single bonds gives a total of four bonding per electron, subtract the value from the total electrons we have. This would give us 12 electrons remaining. Now. Fill up the 12 electrons on the terminal atoms so that they reach octet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 2 bonding pair electrons makes nitrogen octet. So from the 12 electrons that we had minus of 6 electrons, we are left with 6 more electrons. Fill up electrons on oxygen. Again, six lone pair electrons plus with two bonding pair electrons make oxygen octet. And we have used up all our electrons. So here we have an octet nitrogen and an octet oxygen. However, the carbon at the center is not octet. And we have finished using all our electrons. Therefore, we have to convert the lone pairs on nitrogen or oxygen into bonding pairs so that carbon will reach octet configuration. So let's do that. First, let us try converting the lone pairs on nitrogen into bonding pairs. That would give us a structure that looks like this. Again, nitrogen is octet, oxygen is octet, however, carbon is still not octet. Therefore, let's convert another two lone pairs from oxygen this time into bonding pairs. So that will give us carbon double bonded to oxygen and double bonded to nitrogen. Don't forget to draw out the lone pairs on each of the terminal atom. So in this case, we have a completely happy Lewis structure of NCO minus. So how do you represent that? Use a square bracket and with a minus charge on the top. The next possible structure would be instead of oxygen giving the lone pairs to form a double bond, what if the nitrogen gives in another two electrons to form a triple bond. So we would have another Lewis structure that looks like this, whereby there is a triple bond between nitrogen and carbon. However, 
a single bond remains between carbon and oxygen. So this is the second possible Lewis structure that you can have for NCO minus. Well, that would be a third one. And I think you would have guessed it by now, which carbon forms a triple bond between oxygen and a single bond between nitrogen. So here, don't forget to fill up the lone pair electrons on both nitrogen and oxygen. And don't forget your square bracket with a negative charge. So there you have it. Three possible structures for NCO minus. So let's name this structure A. And this would be structure B. And this is structure C. Here, as you can see, all three atoms are octet in all three Lewis structure. Now let's go on to the second part of the question, whereby you are required to determine the most plausible of the three Lewis structures. So in order to do that, let me redraw the three molecules. Now there you have it, all three Lewis structures of NCO minus. In order to find the most plausible Lewis structure, you are required to calculate the formal charge of each atom in all three Lewis structures. So let's begin with the formula of formal charge. That would be formal charge equivalent to valence electron minus half bonding pair electron and minus lone pair electron. So for structure A, the formal charge on nitrogen would be 5 minus half multiplied by 4 bonding pair electrons minus 4 lone pair electrons. That would give us negative 1. For carbon, it would be 4 minus half of 8 bonding pair electrons minus 0 lone pair electrons, that would give us 0. For oxygen, it would be 6 minus half of 4 bonding pair electrons, minus 4 lone pair electrons, and that would be 0 as well. Now let's do it for B. Formal charge for nitrogen in structure B would be 5 minus half of 6 bonding pair electron minus 2 lone pair electron. That would give us 0. For carbon, the formal charge would be 4 minus half of bonding pair electrons, which is 8, minus 0 lone pair, which would give us 0. And finally, for oxygen, the formal charge would be 6 minus half of 2 bonding pair electrons minus 6 lone pair electrons, giving a formal charge of negative 1. As for the final structure, the formal charge on nitrogen would be 5 minus half of 2 bonding pair electrons minus 6 lone pairs. That would give negative 2. For carbon, it would be 4 minus half of bonding pair electrons minus 0 lone pair, giving you again the value 0. Finally, for oxygen, it would be 6 valence electron minus half of bonding pair electrons. That would be 6 minus two lone pair electrons, giving an answer of positive one. Now let's compare all the formal charge values. Here we have a negative one, zero, and zero combination. Whereas for structure two, we have a combination of zero, 
0 and negative 1. Finally, for the third Lewis structure, we have a combination of negative 2, 0 and positive 1. The most plausible structure between A, B and C would be structure 2. Why is this? Because the negative formal charge is appearing on a more electronegative atom, which is oxygen. For structure A, although it has the same combination as structure B, the negative formal charge is appearing on nitrogen, which is less electronegative than oxygen. Therefore, the most plausible structure would be structure B. So how do we write this in exam? We would say the most plausible structure is structure B. This is because the negative formal charge is on a more electronegative atom which is oxygen in this case. So that's how you answer questions relating to drawing Lewis structures and determining the most plausible structure with explanation. Hope this little video had helped you understand much better. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next.